Auz bilen ne şey dağına cim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Dear students, welcome in Pakistan International School Type Virtual Learning System Session 2020. This is English for Grade Seven. book is guided english today is lecture number 19 chapter number 14 the little woman today inshallah we'll try to complete reading and explanation then we'll move towards the exercise i'm your teacher Adnan Sabir Mirza. So let's start our lesson. <clears throat> Page number, I think, seventy-eight. Let me check. Yes, seventy-eight. Page seventy-eight. Lesson fourteen. The Little Woman. This story about the daily lives of four American girls, Meg, Joe, Amy, and Beth, was written about a hundred years ago, but it is still uh, popular as ever and is read by girls and boys all over the world. Perhaps this chapter will show you why. Secrets. Dear students, uh, the stories uh, of your guided English are not full stories but they are segments, they are parts of the big stories. So if you love to read story books, novel books, uh, you should read these full stories. They are very uh, popular, they are very interesting and they will give you a good uh, piece of uh, vocabulary, expression and you will enjoy it, I promise you. Everything is available uh, on the uh, web, on the internet. So this part is called secret. It was now October, with days growing short and cold. Uh, jo was busy in her room at the top of the house. She was writing a story and it was nearly finished. Dear students, the interesting thing about a good uh, piece of uh, writing is that it gives you uh, the life experience and also uh, a good way of expressing the things. Like uh, in the first line, with, uh, with the days growing short and cold. You know, in the, in the cold season, the days are short and the nights are long. But in, in summer, in the hot season, the days are long and nights are short. So, so these readings give you the experience of the life. So, so a good reader is a good speaker or a good narrator. Since you are a student of uh, English, this is English literature. Mm -hmm. 
she was writing a story and it was nearly finished nearly finished almost finished then the last page was filled she signed her name firmly and threw down her pen exclaiming there i have done my best if it won't suit i shall have to wait until i can do better she read through her story carefully making changes here and there and putting in more commas then she tied it with a ribbon and sat looking at it silently from a drawer she took another finished story and putting both in her pocket went quietly downstairs then after putting on hat and coat she went out into the street she stopped a passing bus and was driven to town looking merry but as though she had some secret looking merry means uh, she she was uh, looking happy happy merry means happy. Uh, uh, as though she had some secret because when you have some secret you uh, your face expressions change your smile change change <clears throat> so the writer is telling you uh, another experience of the life that when you have some secret you are another person on getting out of the bus she walked quickly until she reached a certain building in a busy street she went in through the door looked up the dirty stairs stood quite stood quite still for a moment then walked away as quickly as she had come after doing this a second after doing this a second and a third time jo shook herself and walked up the stairs as if she were going to have all her teeth out and among the signs near the door there was one of a dentist in 10 minutes jo came out jo came running downstairs looking like a person who had passed through a hard time by the door she found lorry waiting he had been sitting in the window of a house opposite and had seen her go in it's like jo to come to a dentist alone but if she she's had a bad time she'll need somebody to help her home he thought when jo saw him she looked anything but pleased and passed with him a slight bend of her head he followed asking with sympathy did you have a bad time no not very you finished quickly yes thank god uh, thank goodness why did you go alone i didn't want anybody to know you are the strangest creature i ever knew how many did you have out 
he, uh, she was uh, uh, with the dentist and he asked me how many you have out means how many teeth you have uh, removed jo looked at her friend as if she did not understand him there are two what are you going to have out but i must wait a week she said then she began to laugh what are you laughing at are you planning some joke joe well i have a secret and if you promise not to say anything about it at home i will tell it to you said you not a word so tell on i have been to take two of my stories to a newspaper man and he is going to tell me next week if they are good enough to print hurra for miss jo march the famous author cried lorry perhaps they will never get printed said jo but i couldn't rest until i had tried i said nothing about it because i didn't want anyone else to be sorry if the story weren't printed <clears throat> it won't fail jo why your stories are a great deal better than half the rubbish that is published every day it will be fine to see them in print and shant we be proud of our author <clears throat> Joe's eyes shone, for it is always pleasant to be believed in. <clears throat> come on, come on then, race down the hill with me," said Laurie. No one was in sight, and as they were out of the city now, Joe agreed, and the two ran. Lori reached the bottom first, and when Joe came along with hair flying and bright eyes and cheeks, she was very happy because they were running. And although she lost, but she was happy. For a week or two, Joe's behavior. quite puzzled her sisters she rushed to the door when the postman knocked and all together was very strange but one afternoon she came into the room where back sat sewing with emmy and beth she had a paper in her hand and seating herself began to read have you anything interesting there asked met nothing but a story said jo you had better read it to us said em What is the name of the story? Asked Beth. The rival painters. That sounds well. Read it, Matt, uh, said Matt. With a loud ham, Joe began to read very fast. The girls listened with interest, for the tale was exciting and sad. Most of the people. in it died before the end who wrote it 
asked Beth, who had seen a strange look on Joel's face. The reader suddenly threw away the paper and looked very solemn, replied in a loud voice, your sister. You cried Meg. It's very good, said Amy. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my Joe, I'm so proud. And Beth ran to kiss her sister. Now you see, uh, all the sisters are happy and uh, also the Joe is happy because her story has been printed. How delighted they all were. Meg couldn't believe it till she saw the words Miss Josephine March actually printed in the paper. Hannah explained, exclaimed when told the news. Well, I, I never, uh, I never fancy Miss Joe doing it. And how proud Mrs. March was when she was told about it. Tell us all about it. When did it come? How much did you get for it? What will father say? Cried the family all together. Stop, stop, all of you. I'll tell you everything, which Joe did at once and ended by saying, I'm so happy for any time I may be able earn my own living and help you others. To be independent and earn the praise of those she loved were dearest wishes of Joe's heart and this small success seemed to be the first step towards a happy end. So, dear students, this was the story of success. And uh, you see the expression of the writer. This story is about a new writer, a first time published writer. Some people write, but they never get the printing because their writing is never approved. So if you can write good things, it can be published anywhere. So this was your story. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. You can read it from the book if you have. If you don't have, you can read from the uh, screen or you can listen uh, my reading if you like it and you can listen it again so the, this was the story the name of the writer is not given but I hope that it, it, it can be found you can read other stories as well but one thing is for sure that this is from the Oxford University Press. So dear students, uh, this is uh, the reading section. Today uh, we, we have uh, finished the reading of this story. In the next lesson, inshallah, we'll uh, try to complete the exercise. And and I want to give you advice about uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, coronavirus pandemic. Dear students, there is a difference between epidemic and pandemic. Epidemic is spread, is a disease, is a viral disease within 
certain area within a, within a city within a country within a continent but pandemic is more wide it is international it is all over the world so this covid 19 uh, corona virus is a pandemic and it is very very dangerous so my advice to you to keep the distance from the strangers to avoid receiving an infection whenever you are out always wear a mask and cover your nose and mouth and even then don't go closer to anyone even your eyes are at risk if you get a, a germ a virus in your eyes it, it will uh, become the part of your body and you you will carry the virus and you will uh, spread it to your family members even so whenever you go out white uh, closeness with others and when you come back the first thing you do uh, wash your hands for 20 seconds at least 20 40 wash your face eyes blow your nose and keep yourself neat and clean so this is this was from me you know, uh, we are doing the online classes due to this uh, pandemic. Otherwise, uh, it is a time for our uh, summer holiday. It, it, it is the time for uh, us to go to our native country. We are uh, all uh, uh, foreigners here. We are Ajnabi here. So, um, to uh, to utilize the time we are doing this so study and education they are very much important and ed education about the disease it is more important so every one of you mashallah is intelligent and 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 um, you are big uh, big boys and big girls now you understand you feel your responsibility so best of uh, luck for today and see you next time goodbye salam alaikum